Good morning. This Sunday is Pentecost Sunday. It's amazing how a number that simply, or a word that simply means 50 could be so controversial, but it is. In Acts 19, interesting story. Philip is ministering in Corinth and he meets some believers and he asks them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? And they said, we've not even heard of the Holy Spirit. Philip asked them, then what were you baptized? And they said, well, the baptism of John. And Philip then explains Jesus, salvation of Jesus, and they receive the Holy Spirit. I'm not going to talk about receiving the Holy Spirit as a second work of grace. I'm suggesting that when you become a believer, you have the Holy Spirit inside of you. So then this happened. A pastor was talking to someone else and said, well, have you received the Holy Spirit? And he said, well, I believe I'm the... Uh, the temple of the Most High God, the Holy Spirit lives inside of me. But there was no evidence of spiritual power in this individual's life. So the pastor asked him this, Now your mother-in-law moved in with you about 18 months ago. She lives in your house. But have you received your mother-in-law? Have you welcomed your mother-in-law? Is she a part of your household? That would be the question about us when it comes to the Holy Spirit. You know, we may be the temple of the Holy Spirit, but if we welcome the Holy Spirit, are we trying to live in the power, the authority, and the fruits of the Spirit? That's a good question.